Hey guys, it's the Lego Panda Studios here, and today I'll be teaching you how to build this Lego minifig sized vending machine. So let's jump right in. So here are all the pieces you're going to need to build your Lego vending machine. You'll need two of these black doors with a transparent window inside. I know this one's a door, but realistically, you would want two of the window panes. I only had one that I could find in my collection, so I had to substitute this one for a door. Also, you'll need one 2x6 plate. Again, I wasn't able to find one without holes in it, so I had to substitute a part. And then you'll need one 2x4 black plate and one 1x2 one black plate. Then you'll need a variety of different tiles. You'll need one 2x4 black tile, two 1x2 black tiles, one 2x2 two two black tile, two dark bluish gray 1x1 one one tiles, one 1x3 one tile in light bluish gray. Then you'll need one of these printed tiles. It's a 1x1 one one light bluish gray tile with a calculator pattern on the front. It comes with the calculator minifig from the Lego Batman movie series 1 minifigures. I'm not sure what other sets it's in, but that's where I got mine from. And then you'll need one of these white corner pieces. And then you'll need four of these black studs. And then you'll need one 1x2 one light bluish gray headlight brick and one 1x1 one one light bluish gray headlight brick, four 2x2 two two black bricks, and four 1x2 one black bricks. And then you'll need a variety of these pieces here, which are just two 1x2 one two plates put together in different colors, and these will act as the items inside the vending machine. You'll need six that are two plates together, and then two that are one plate with a tile of the same color on top. You'll see how this works when we go to put the vending machine together. So those are all the parts you're going to need to build your vending machine. Now let's get into how you're going to build it. So the first step to constructing your Lego vending machine is you're going to take your two window pane pieces and you're going to take all your items for the inside of the vending machine and put them together in groups of four. So it is two plates of one color, two plates of another color, two plates of another color, and then one plate and one tile of another color. So you're going to make two of these with all the parts that were listed before. You can do whatever colors you like, it doesn't matter. They're just supposed to be the items that are going to go inside the vending machine. So you make two of these with a tile at the end of each. And for this step, you're also going to need a 1x3 light bluish gray tile. And you're going to take two of your black 1x2 bricks, one plate, one 1x2 one black plate, and one 1x2 one black tile, and place them together similarly to how the vending machine items are constructed. All of these things will go inside of this gap that is on the inside of the door frame. So you're going to place them in this order. First, take some of your vending machine items and place them at the top where the studs are. Then take your 1x3 plate, place that underneath. Take your next row of vending machine items and place that underneath the 1x3 plate. And then take the black piece that you made and place it at the bottom. And it should look something like this. Next, you're going to take your other window pane and you're going to take the side that has the gap and place it on top of the items so that they are inside of the two door frames and the windows. And that will act as the inside of the vending machine. Next, you're going to want to take your 2x6 black plate and place it at the bottom to hold the two door frames together. And now we'll start building up the other side of the vending machine. So for this step, you're going to need all of your remaining pieces. And you'll start off by placing one of the bricks at the bottom, like so. Then you'll take one of the 1x2 one bricks and place that at the back. Then you're going to take your corner piece and place it here. And then you'll take your 1x1 one one headlight brick and place it here. And take one of your 1x1 one one dark bluish gray tiles and place it on the front of this headlight brick. And this acts as the coin return area for your vending machine. Now you're going to want to take another brick, a 2x2 two two brick, and place it on top. Then you'll need your other 1x2 black brick and you'll place it at the back like that. 
Then take your two, one by two headlight brick and place that in front of the one by two black brick. And then stack the remaining two two by two black bricks on top. Then you can finish off the top where the studs are with two tiles. Now to add the finishing touches for the vending machine, we'll add the selection panel for the vending machine. You're going to take your calculator piece and place it in the bottom right corner of this 2x2 two two plate. Take your remaining 1x1 one one dark bluish gray tile and place it next to the calcula calculator piece. Then finish off the selection panel by placing your remaining 1x2 black tile at the top. And then we'll take this piece and place it onto the headlight brick. And for one final touch, we'll take all of our black studs and put them in all of the corners of the 2x6 plate to act as feet for the bottom of the vending machine. And that is the completed vending machine. A couple notes on this particular vending machine design. There are a lot of substitutions that I think other parts would be better suited for. For instance, I mentioned already that this probably should be a plain panel and not a door panel, but it's all I had. Also, these two light bluish gray bricks should probably be black, but they also work fairly well in the light bluish gray. And then also, this panel in the back should probably be an entirely black panel so that you can't see into the vending machine. But for the purposes of this tutorial and showing you how to make this vending machine, it worked well. And you could even leave this panel here because if you place it up against the wall, no one's ever going to notice it. But those are just a few substitutions that I thought would be important to note about this vending machine. I also intended for this vending machine to be made of parts that are fairly readily available. There are other similar vending machines out there, but they're more complex and require more rare pieces. But especially on the inside, I used a lot of basic tiles and plates to simplify the process so more people can make this particular design. So thanks for watching this tutorial about how to build a Lego vending machine. If you liked this video, be sure to leave a like down below and also be sure to subscribe for more videos from me. Also, be sure to check out Lego Panda Studios on Instagram. The username is at LPSBricks. I post updates and all sorts of photos on that Instagram, so be sure to check it out. Thanks for watching guys and see you in the next video.